Jordan Quadzilla Watson has trained at Bad Company Gym with Richard Smith since he was six years old. It's funny, I've got some pictures of him when he was younger. Liam Harrison, a couple other big fighters that they had there, and he's like, you know, knee high to a grasshopper there. It's funny <laughs> to see him. And now he's obviously grown into one of the best fighters in the world. Competed against all the top fighters, Boakal, Yotin, Kwan. Yeah, Boakal, Port Premek, they had an epic battle. And really, uh, Watson gave him all he could handle, but uh, still came, as most people do, came up uh, short against Boakal, Port Premek. But uh, a guy who's been around the sport almost as long as a lot of the Muay Thai fighters in Thailand. Again, starting, you know, at six years of age in the gym. Yeah, I mean, in, first and foremost, in that fight with Boakal, he definitely pushed him to the limit. One of the toughest fights Boakal has had recently. And yeah, he's been training for a very, very long time. He comes from a great school at Bad Company. We saw Liam Harrison earlier tonight, and even though he lost, he put on a great show. They've got a great gym there, great instructors, and uh, now we're, uh, we're about to see him display his techniques here in the ring. All right, here's the tail of the tape for this middleweight contest, and really these two are almost carbon copies of one another, as you will see. Both are 23, both are 5'9". Hollenbeck came in a half a pound heavier than his English opponent. And for Hollenbeck, uh, memorable 2010, he went undefeated with seven wins, just uh, the one draw. And again, another guy started very young at 10 years of age, started wrestling, and at 15 was introduced to Muay Thai, and he continues to train a world team USA Muay Thai in San Francisco. And has actually also dabbled in professional mixed martial arts, but it's here in the sport of Muay Thai that he's considered one of the best in the USA. Well, Kai is undefeated in, in, in his competition as a Muay Thai fighter. He's done really, really well in MMA. You mentioned him being a wrestler. He's really just a great all-American athlete. Anything that he does, he does very, very well. So uh, let's see what Chris has to say about it right now. And now, fight fans, here we go with middleweight Muay Thai action. Fighting out of the white corner, weighing 72.4 kilos. That's 159 and a half pounds. He stands five foot nine, age 23, from San Francisco, California, and fighting for World Team USA with a clean record of 24 and 0. 17 wins by way of knockout. This man's the ISKA light heavyweight North American champion and two-time WCK World Muay Thai champion at both 72 and 75 kilos. And he's the current WBC Muay Thai middleweight NGM world champion. I give you Kai Hollenbeck. <laughs> and in the black corner, weighing 69.1 kilos, that's 159 pounds. He stands five foot nine, age 23, from Leeds, UK, with a record of 35 and three, 15 wins by way of knockout. This man is the ISKA world champion. I give you Jordan Quadzilla Watson. Your referee for tonight's fight, Dej Nakweed Triopai. Full fighter. Okay, listen, gentlemen. I want clean fight, I want fair fight, obey my command at all time. Defend yourself all the time. No dirty fight at all. I say stop, you don't stop. I say fight, you start fight. Any question? Any question? Good luck to you, touch globe. Back to the corner. So Kai Hollenbeck in the white gloves. Jordan Quadzilla Watson in the black gloves. Middleweight action in the MPL. <laughs> As you mentioned, both fighters, 23-year-olds, they are really the, the next generation mm -hmm. of top Muay Thai fighters. Both competing in Group B, where in Long Beach, California, Dutch fighter Nicky Holtzkut won another fight over his uh, arch rival, Marco Piquet. Yeah, they've got some bad blood. They fought before, and it was a... I think they squashed it, though, after the Long Beach fight. Well, yeah, I mean, they both really wanted to win, but it was a great... Oh! Point. Lightning quick strikes here by Kai Holenbeck. Quick start for the American fighter. Nice low kick from Watson. Ooh. Oh, beautiful front kick to the face of Watson by 
Paul and Becca, we've seen front kicks to the face and fights in oh, MMA cool. with Anderson Silva and Lyoto Machida both recording wins via that form of strike. Big kick missed by Jordan Watson. It was interesting there. Uh, Holland oh. back tried to sweep him, and Hot Watson jumped over it. Need these guys are uh, they're they're not playing nicely right now. You no, know, and Hollenbeck missing with a spinning back elbow. Just Let past the minute mark here of the opening round. Hollenbeck letting it know that he's not here to play. He's definitely trying to. He's putting a lot of pressure on Watson. Watson seems to start slowly. Yeah, Hollenbeck ripping a left hook to the body. Interesting guard, chin up, hands out wide. That's a, not necessarily the safest way to do it, but Unless you so want far it's worked with him. Oh, nice body kick there from Watson. Jab from Hollenbeck. Watson really just flat-footed to the center of the cage. Static, but oh, nice head movement there, avoiding that strike. And there's a slashing elbow and a couple of knees as the referee calls for the break. So Watson taking advantage of that opportunity, using his uh, defense, slipping away, sidestepping the strike from Hollenbeck and then doing some uh, damage of his own. Oh, nice left hand from Hollenbeck. Watson jumping off the canvas with a swing kick. Improvisation at its best. <laughs> Hollenbeck jumping away as that kick landed. Almost looked like uh, Watson kicked him halfway across the ring. Red Welt developing under the arm there of Hollenbeck. Final 15 seconds of the round. Hollenbeck, a lot of nervous energy coursing through his veins, bouncing up and down while Watson, again, doing a good job with the head, avoiding that strike and low leg kick. Almost caught by Hollenbeck, wants to counter. There's a push kick from the American and all faking another one. All right, let's uh, bring you up to speed on what's happening with the updated light heavyweight standings after Cow Cly's uh, victory. As we take a look at Group A, Simon Marcus, the Canadian from Toronto, tied with Mark DeBond, who picked up the win here tonight over Yuri Zak in what has to be considered a bit of an upset. And uh, Group B leading is Artem Levin with three points as he stopped David Keslick in Long Beach, California in a fight we uh, just saw. Cow Cly defeats Roberto Coco via decision for two points. And still to come in the main event. Clifton, one of the best, period. One of the best, period. What can we say about Kao Pung Lai? 2008 Fighter of the Year. Got to the point even in Thailand where people didn't want to fight him. Came over to Europe, fought a few times, and decided to stay here. Made a family, made a life for himself, and still, you know, at 34 years old, has got the spirit and the desire to fight and hasn't lost in I don't know how long. Kao Pung Lai is truly... Is a, is a technician. His opponent, Charles Francois, is a person who fought him before, lost by a close decision, and has been looking, uh, you know, avidly for a rematch. And here he is now getting ready for their rematch tonight. And it is the main event on this, the Muay Thai Premier League event from Padova, Italy. Really looking forward to seeing that match up with the storyline in place. And again, any opportunity to get to see Kao Pong Glek in action, you best be... Uh, PVRing his fights because uh, a guy like that comes around once in a lifetime and and it's going to be interesting to see what Charles Carlino Francois does as he looks for revenge. As I said before, he's a technical, you know, textbook. So if you know if you're a fighter coming up or just a person who loves the sport, he's a person whose tapes and fights you can watch many, many times and learn a ton of technique. So that's the main event still to come, and we are awaiting the resumption of this fight. The second round underway. Again, it's Jordan Quadzilla Watson in the black gloves. Kai Hollenbeck in the white gloves. Just mislanded. How'd you on score that, that uh, first round? That's an interesting fight. I mean, I think that Hollenbeck was more busy, you know, and that might have actually swayed the judges. Watson with just a couple big hard kicks, but nothing really, really aggressive. So we'll see what happens. At the moment, I have Kai slightly ahead on points. Oh, there's a drop elbow. From uh, Hollenbeck, as referees time. instructing for the stop and uh, time being called here. 
Jordan Watson get his mouth. He's putting yep. it by the opposite corner. <laughs> That's a nice sign of sportsmanship there. Spinning back fist, slashing level trajectory, elbow with the left arm by Hollenbeck. Watson trying to hunt him down. Ooh. But it's Hollenbeck that initiates. Is it unorthodox, but actually very effective. He steps in, steps out, three shots, and moved up before Watson can hit him. So uh, Hollenbeck doing really well here tonight. Elbow from Watson, right body kick, but Hollenbeck very aggressive. Trying to break oh. across that plane, and that was a nice shot. Beautiful jab, uppercut, hook combination, landing all three shots. And there's an elbow again from Hollenbeck. So Hollenbeck doing a, a good job. Economical with the strikes, but scoring with most of them. Yeah, and doing exactly what he wants to do. Not taking a ton of damage, landing three shots for every one that he takes. And, you know, that kick might have hurt, but he's got two, three in return. Ooh. Left elbow. Along the ropes, Watson moving forward. Hollenbeck undefeated, as we mentioned, 24-0. 17 wins via form of knockout. Watson, 35-3 with 15 wins via form of KO. Watson very, ooh, beautiful spinning elbow. Back elbow. Watson very flat-footed and waiting for something. He should be a he little bit more He should initiate. I agree with you. Ooh. Oh, left hook from Hollenbeck. Watson bleeding from the mouth right now. Those punches causing some serious damage by Hollenbeck. Push kick from Watson. Hollenbeck avoiding that kick. And there's, oh, spinning back fist drops Watson. And he is going to be administered a standing eight count, much to the chagrin of Watson's corner. Six, seven, eight. You agree? What? Challenging, challenging. I mean, I don't know if I necessarily agree Whoa. with that, but I think he was hurt, and now Hollenbeck all over him. He, he looked like he was hurt. He did get up right away, and, you know, it's tough. It's tough. You know, the referees are human. And they make mistakes, too. Watson a little bit angry now. Oh, jumps into a push kick to the face. And gets dropped, and there is the end of the second round. Well, here comes this controversial moment in replay. We can see it, obviously, with better judgment on replay if that was a real knockdown. So here it is. Uh, challenging three points on the ground. He got up right away. But uh, well, was know. it the strike that knocked him down? It I was mean, the strike that knocked so him down. It's a knockdown, though. No? Maybe three a little weak. It was a little bit weak, for sure. But three points did touch the ground from a result of a punch. It's a... Uh, referees... Referee's uh, discretion. discretion. He calls it. So the third and final round straight ahead. Will Hollenbeck stay undefeated? Or will Quadzilla be able to pull out the victory? It's, it's challenging. I mean, even before that knockdown took place, I think that Hollenbeck was winning. He was landing more shots. He was landing more, you know, more effective shots. So, you know, unless Watson comes out and dominates completely this last round, it, you know, whether that happened or not, he, his chances are of winning were, were getting lower by the minute. Kai Hollenbeck loves to uh, spend his time surfing when he's not training in Muay Thai, also finishing up his studies at San Francisco State. Fighting on a world team at USA. Jordan Quadzilla Watson representing Bad Company Jim. Still to come in the main event, Kyle Pongalek versus Charles Carlito Francois in a super fight to wrap things up here in Italy. I expect Watson to come out really aggressive, and he's going to have to do that if he wants to win this fight. But again, being flat-footed, walking straight forward, he's walking into three and four shots at a time. And oh, oh spinning back elbow, beautifully done right through the guard from Hollenbeck in the white gloves, Watson in the black gloves. 15 seconds gone in the third round, and already lots of action here. Hollenbeck with a side headlock, another spinning back elbow. 
And another drop elbow. So utilizing the elbows to try to wear down his opponent is Kai Hollenbeck. I think a lot of pundits saw this fight going easily to Jordan Watson, but Kai Hollenbeck has definitely uh, impressed here tonight. Catches the kick and a jump knee there. And the cameraman even gets caught up in the action there as the Hollenbeck knee strike on Watson. Watson has to be frustrated here in the third round with nearly a minute gone. It just seems to me that he hasn't been able to find his timing and his range, and every time he steps in, he's getting hit. Hollenbeck uh, done a great job tonight. Jab from Hollenbeck through the guard. Watson still very flat-footed, though. Very you flat You would expect at this stage of the fight, it's all Hollenbeck initiating. No, and, he's, and he's not adjusted. As we talked about this many times throughout the, the evening that, you know, at this level, you're going to have to adjust. You go in with one game plan, it doesn't work. You've got to find another way to win. And with eight weapons in Muay Thai, you've got to cycle through them. If your There's, kick's not working, punch. Yeah, there was a liver kick from Watson, but few and far between. Single shots. Hollenbeck, the center of the ring. Stalking Watson. Watson with the body kick. Walks right into the jab. Final 60 seconds of the fight. Ooh. There's a nice elbow from Hollenbeck. Spinning back up. Oh, and he goes both ways. Well done. Stop. Jordan jumping on the ropes to protect himself here. Jumping, falling right over us here in the commentary booth. Now Hollenbeck just throwing everything at Watson, wanting to solidify his standing with the judges here with 30 seconds left in the fight. Slashing elbow strikes from the left and right side by Hollenbeck. What do you make of the discoloring on the back of Hollenbeck? That comes from those big, heavy kicks of Quadzilla. You know, they uh, basically blood clotting under the armpit from where those, oh, beautiful uppercut. That there. was a nice, sweet left uppercut. And we're going to the judges' scorecards for this one. A little bit slow pace, a little bit disappointing action from that fight. I expected a little bit more fireworks. Uh, Hollenbeck definitely did enough to win. You know, I, I'm, I don't know if we'll get a protest from that side over there, but uh, regardless of that knockdown, Hollenbeck won that fight. Yeah, I thought Hollenbeck pushed the pace. He landed More three diverse. shots for one. Yep, very diverse in his attack, mixing up all the weapons of Muay Thai. He'll try to even the point total that Nicky Holtzkin accrued in his fight against Marco Piquet, winning that by decision. He has two points. Of course, we uh, had a draw in Group A action earlier tonight. Vladimir Moravchik and Rosario Presti, each with one point in Group A. But now here in Group B, we await the decision. Will Kyle Heil Kai Hollenbeck remain undefeated, or will Quadzilla pick up the victory? Don't forget, for more Muay Thai Premier League information, upcoming events, fighter profiles, go to the MPL.TV. Check it out. Or follow us on Facebook, facebook.com slash the MPL.TV. And Twitter. Twitter at the MPL. And follow all the news and, and uh, get some videos of all these fighters preparing and training for their upcoming fights. Next event, November 6th in Den Haag, Holland. November 6th, we're off to the Netherlands. And of course, that Dutch style of Muay Thai, we saw it on display here tonight as Ilona Wymans picked up the win over the bigger Chantel Ugi of Italy, who now lives in Thailand. Indeed, and we were, we were also treated to an upcoming fighter on the undercard who the fans here haven't oh, yeah. seen was a, a Jemima from, uh, from Holland also fought unbelievably well. And Tremendous sure women's fight. We're gonna be uh, looking forward to seeing her more in the future. All right, Kai Hollenbeck.
showcasing some of those elbow techniques, sporting the American flag, hoping he'll go back to San Francisco a winner in his first Muay Thai Premier League contest. So the final scores are being tabulated. Chris Gregory working on getting those totals for you. Two fighters discussing what just transpired. Interesting to see them having a conversation <laughs> in the ring after breaking each other's down heart. the fight. <laughs> yeah, you, it was good when you hit me with there. No, but yeah, I really liked what you did a second ago. Say, <laughs> <laughs> so, hey, I'll buy you a beer after the fight. What do you think? Nah, yeah, make it a, a Guinness and we'll we'll do it. <laughs> yeah, great camaraderie, and here we are. He's even choking. Yeah, there it is. There we go. Showing where that right kick landed, where it may have hurt Hollenbeck, and now. Watson probably saying, okay, he just showed that it hurt. Oh, now he's showing his mouth. See, this is where you got me. Yeah, he was bleeding from the mouth earlier in the fight. <laughs> That's funny. It's good stuff. Every time there's a delay in judges scoring, it kind of makes me feel a little awkward and weird because yeah, usually you know, means there might be some, some issue, some issue mean, going me, on. There really shouldn't be any issue. I don't I mean, think so either in this one. You know, if, if, if there is issue, then obviously we're going to have to discuss it. For me, obviously, Kai Hollenbeck won this fight. I mean, Jordan fought well, but did not do enough with or without that knockdown. So we're going to be interested to see what's going to happen here. And Chris Gregory is making his way back into the ring. So without further ado, let's find out who won this MPL Group B middleweight matchup. Black. Ladies and gentlemen, after three hard hitting rounds of action, we have your decision. Judge one scores about 29 29. Judge two sees it 30 25. Judge three has it Crazy 30 scores. 28 for the winner by split decision. In the white corner, Kai Hollenbeck. Well, the uh, right guy won, but those scores were all over the map. <laughs> a one judge with a draw, 30-25. I mean, 30-25 is, uh, is a weird score. I mean, <laughs> two points off that knockdown. It could be 30-26. Yeah. I don't see 25. I no, mean, that's I don't two, either. That's two two-point round. So someone is uh, well, drinking some, some weird or stuff Or maybe someone's tonight. math is uh, not the best. But Kai Hollenbeck picks up the win, remains undefeated. And joins Nikki Holtzkid in Group B action with two points apiece. Very, very impressive debut for, for Kai Holland back from the United States. Uh, great fight. Great fight. Did enough to stay undefeated, and he is going to talk about it momentarily with the MPL's very own Sonia Cooling. How do you feel right now? A lot of people were expecting an, uh, another decision. Uh, yeah, um, that's always how it seems to happen when I fight. They always put me as the underdog. I love that position. Being the underdog, you only have oh, anywhere, nowhere to go but up. So it's, uh, it's fun to prove people wrong. Well, that's true. And anybody you have to worry about in your weight division? Uh, everybody. I had to worry about Jordan. I, I still have to worry about him. If he makes it through the, through the next two fights, he'll be at the finals himself. So I got to keep an eye on everybody. But, I'm just happy to be here, continue to do what I'm doing. I'm thankful for the opportunity. Well, thank you very much. You've made America proud today. Congratulations.